Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I will show you how you can install additional liveries for the DC6, which has been released a couple of days ago by PMDG. There are two ways to install custom liveries. First of all, there's the already known method, right? It's simply downloading the zip file and extracting the zip file in the communities folder. I will not show it because there are several other tutorials, including on my own website, which describe how you can do that. But there's also a different type, and a different type is, for example, this one. That's the PMDG uh, DC-6A, uh, US Air Force Military Transport. And if you scroll down here, it will also say, hey, you need to install it using the PMDG Operation Center. Let me switch to that too, and let me show you how that tool works. So here you will see the PMDG uh, Operation Center. So one of the things you can do, of course, is check for updates, right? You can check if there is a new update available uh, for the aircraft. And if there is an update available, it will show it here. The other thing is deliveries one. And deliveries one uh, checks which simulator you've got installed, then checks the product which you have installed. And then you will have the option to switch the aircraft, right? You can either go to the PMDG DC-6A or the 6B, and based on that, you can see additional liveries are available. And you can simply install them by pressing the install button, then when it will download it, and we'll install it. As you can see, extract, install. Um, we can do that for, well, all the aircrafts, right? There's no option to say, okay, hey, install all of them. You need to do it, I would say, um, livery by livery. The same thing is applicable for the PMDG DC-6B. That one can also be installed, and those are separate liveries because it's a passenger uh, aircraft, which of course has more uh, windows compared to the uh, transport airport or the transport version. These are the default liveries which are available are made available by PMDG, but you also have the option as we just saw with Flight Sim.2. In those those cases, you will need to go to the liveries utility. And then you can uh, still go to the uh, PMD G DC6 and go to the variant, and then it will show you the variants which are installed. However, you also see the option here in the left corner is install from PTP file. So I will select that option. Then I will go to the downloaded file. In this case, it's the uh, US Air Force one. I will double click it and then we'll wait. After that, it will show me a message, hey, I installed it successfully, and after that's being done, you can use it in Flight Simulator. So let me show you this aircraft in Flight Simulator. Let's look at the additional liveries. And we're back in Flight Simulator, and as you can see, it installed all the liveries, right? It installed the default ones, which were, I would say, part of the basic installation, but now there are also several other ones like the uh, Delta Airlines, the KLM Royal Dutch Airlines, and Namibia, uh, the Olympic Airways, the Pan Americas, the Sabina, the SAS, uh, the Flying Bulls from Red Bull, and the United Airlines. And that's for the 6B. And if we go to the 6A, we could have pressed the same button. So let's uh, give it a minute. Aircraft selection. Go to the 6A. Liveries. I can see also several ones being added here, uh, including the one uh, which we installed custom, which is the use of mats uh, that was downloaded from uh, Flight Sim.2. So here ends this uh, short tutorial where we looked at okay, how can you install additional liveries? The good thing is that there are several additional liveries already part of your uh, aircraft which you bought from uh, PMDG. You simply need to install them. Uh, via PMDG Central. And there are now also several developers who start working on community versions of uh, the DC-6. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them below the video in the comment box. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.